Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we integrated EOP as a smart host with our on-premise Exchange Server so that all internal and external emails are routed through EOP. In this particular video, we will talk about Edge Transport Server. We will understand what is Edge Transport Server how email flow works when you have Edge Server deployed in your Exchange organization. We will discuss whether Edge Server is mandatory for your on-premise Exchange environment. We will understand how Edge Server communicates with Active Directory. And then we will talk about the prerequisites those are required to be met before you install Edge Transport Server. In an on-premise Exchange organization where Edge Transport Server is not deployed, all external inbound and outbound email flow is handled by the mailbox server in Exchange 2016 and Exchange 2019. When users send emails to the internet, the mailbox server connects to every email recipient server over port 25. And whenever an external user sends email to on-premise users, the sender's email server connects to the on-premise mailbox server. So that means the on-premise mailbox server has to be exposed to the internet because it has to communicate with the external email servers in order to send or receive the emails. Exchange server stores n number of information. It stores users emails, address book, calendars. It stores hundreds and thousands of mailboxes and public folders and there could be confidential information as well. So if we are exposing the mailbox server to internet, this can lead to a security threat. So this is where Edge Transport Server come in the picture. Edge Transport Server is always deployed in a perimeter network. The machine where we install Edge Transport Server is never joined to the Active Directory forest. When we deploy Edge Transport Server, the external inbound and outbound email flow is handled by the Edge Transport Server. So even if you are exposing this server to the internet, you can still minimize the security risk for your on-premise infrastructure because the Edge server is never a part of the domain network. Let's take a look on the email flow when you have Edge Transport Server installed in your Exchange organization. When external users sends email to one of your on-premise Exchange users, this email is received by the default receive connector that runs on the transport service of Edge Transport Server. Then this email is sent to the mailbox server using the send connector of Edge Transport Server. The name of this connector is Edge Sync Inbound to Active Directory Site Name. I will show you this connector when we will install Edge Transport Server. In mailbox server, that email is received by the default front end connector. This connector runs on the front end transport service of the mailbox server. Then this email is sent to the transport service on the mailbox server. From transport service, this email is sent to the mailbox transport delivery service. And then this email is delivered to the mailbox database. And if on-premise user sends an email to the internet, the mailbox transport submission service picks the email from the mailbox database. Then using SMTP, Mailbox Transport Submission Service sends that email to the transport service that runs on the mailbox server. In transport service, a default connector with name default mailbox server name receives that email. Then this email is sent to the edge transport server using intra organization send connector. This connector automatically sends emails between exchange servers in the same organization. In the transport service on the edge transport server, the default receive connector accepts that email and the name of that connector is default internal receive connector. Then this email is sent to the internet using edge sync to internet connector that runs on the transport service of the edge transport server. So in these two examples, we can see that only edge transport server is communicating with external email servers and the mailbox server is sitting behind the firewall. Apart from this benefit, Edge Transport Server provides anti-spam agents. Mailbox server has four anti-spam agents. 
sender filter agent, sender ID agent, connection filter agent, and protocol analysis agent or sender reputation agent. In edge transport server, you get three more anti-spam agents, connection filtering agent, recipient filter agent, and attachment filter agent. Spammers use a variety of techniques to send spam into your organization. Edge transport servers help prevent users from receiving spam emails by providing a collection of agents that work together to provide different layers of spam filtering and protection. With the help of these spam agents, you can block spam emails on the perimeter network. So this adds an extra layer of security for your on-premise emails environment. Moreover, you can create and configure transport rules or mail flow rules on the edge transport server. Mail flow rules on edge transport servers are used to control the flow of emails. Those are sent or received from the internet. In edge transport server, you can manage anti-spam agents and mail flow rules only from PowerShell or Exchange Management Shell. In edge transport server, you do not have Exchange Admin Center. Everything can be managed only from PowerShell. The next benefit of edge transport server is address rewriting. Address rewriting is a feature in Exchange Server that modifies the email address of the sender and the recipient in the emails that enter or leave your organization through an edge transport server. Let's assume we have one parent domain that is abc.com and we have two subdomains or child domains sales.abc.com and it.abc.com. When a user from child domain will send an email, I want his email address to be reflected as at abc.com domain, not at it.abc.com. So with the help of address rewriting, we can rewrite the email addresses. So they appear to originate from a single domain that is abc.com. Same way we can configure address rewriting for incoming emails as well. Edge Transport Server has two transport agents. Those provide the rewriting functionality. Address rewriting inbound agent and address rewriting outbound agent. Edge Transport Server doesn't have access to Active Directory information because Edge Transport Server is always installed in a perimeter network and is never joined to the Active Directory domain. Edge Transport Server requires only some of the information from Active Directory. For example, connector information for email flow and recipient information for anti-spam recipient lookup. This data from Active Directory is synchronized to the Edge Transport Server by Microsoft Exchange Edge Sync service that runs on the mailbox server in Exchange 2016 or Exchange 2019. When we install Edge Transport Server as a prerequisite, we install Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services or ADLDS. We install this service on the machine where we want to install Edge Transport Server. Edge Sync service creates one way replication of the recipients and the configuration information from Active Directory to the Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services that is running on the Edge Transport Server. Now, this one way replication of the recipients and configuration information is achieved by edge subscription. We will talk about these concepts practically as well, and things will be more clear. Edge subscription creates secure and automatic replication of information from Active Directory to ADLDS or Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services that is running on the edge server. Edge Transport Server is not mandatory for your on-premise exchange organization. If you do not want to set up Edge Transport Server, you can use third-party email filtering solutions. For example, Barracuda, EOP, SendGrid, or Spam Titan. These email filtering solutions provide more advanced features to secure your emails as compared to on-premise exchange server anti-spam agents. Before you install Edge Transport Server in your on-premise exchange environment, you need to meet certain prerequisites. TCP port 25 must be opened between the internet and Edge Transport Server for external inbound and outbound email flow. Port 389 and 50636, those are secure LDAP ports, 
has to be opened between the domain controller and the edge transport server. These ports are used for directory synchronization from mailbox servers to Active Directory lightweight directory services that run on the edge transport server. Mailbox server should be able to resolve the fully qualified domain name or the DNS host name of the edge transport server. And edge transport server should be able to resolve the fully qualified domain name of the mailbox server. You would require credentials of the administrator that is a member of local administrator group. And you need SSL certificate for your edge transport server. It is not recommended to use the same SSL certificate that is already being used in mailbox server. So you need to get a new SSL certificate for your edge server from third party certification authority. In the next video, we will meet all these prerequisites and then we will install edge transport server in our on premise exchange 2019 environment. So that is all for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all. Thank you for your time. Take care.